Greetings, greetings, greetings and salutations one and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the end of the night shift week. Happy hump day to you all. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? We've made it. We've made it to the end of another night shift week. It's a night we do a thing we call that is called Marlon's favorite night shift show. Big ups to each and every one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Those tuned in on Tune in Radio, the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew and all the affiliate stations across the globe. Big ups to you. Those on PEMGTV.com. And of course, if you're locked in right here at the home of the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew on KevinStew.com, glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. You have my word. I will not try. Kicking it off for a little sickness. ill blaze. Let me talk some business. All the girls that go in the way fitness won't go now. Let me talk some business. Action time, action time. The track is called Action Time. Action time, action time. Action time. Bay back for the bash my brain. Action time, action time. Squats and go down for the bash my wine. Action time, action time. Bay back for the bash my brain. Yeah, that's that. It's that time. Sinking your back. Real talk Wednesday. Sinking your back and make me sink clap. Before the late old girl, you want some of that. You know, it's serious when you get your own sound effects, you know, thinking your back and make the thing clap and you hear the clap. You know it's serious, right? All the girls that got in the work sickness, step in the gym, let me talk some business. All the girls that got in the work fitness, walk out now, let me talk some business. Action time, action time, squats and go down with the bash my wine. Action time, action time, baby back for the bash my brain. Action time, action time, squats and go down with the bash my wine. Action time, action time, baby back for the bash my brain. Sink in your back and make the tink clap. Sink in your back and make the tink clap. Sink in your back and make the tink clap. Before the late old girl, you want some of that. Sink in your back and make the tink clap. Sink in your back and make the tink clap. Sink in your back and make the tink clap. Before the late old girl, you want some of that. Hey, Marlon. Spin the bump and lick a cure, tell ya. We know you got moves. Since you did nursery rhymes this week, uh, maybe next week you can do some action songs. I don't know. That might take the whole show, right? Spin and go at the house on the clock. Girl, walk cook, get ready for the action. Bend over now if you like that bash my wing. I go down, back it up like a hard drive thing. Break down the thing like a fraction. Girl, walk cook, get ready for the action. Bend over now if you like that bash my wing. I go down, back it up like a hard drive thing. Break down the thing like a fraction. What ya? Action time, action time. Squats and go down. Bash my wine, action time, action time, baby back for the bash my brain, action time, action time, squats and go down with the bash my wine, action time, action time, baby back for the bash my brain, sinking your back and make it sink clap, sinking your back and make it sink clap, sinking your back and make it sink clap, before the late old girl you want some of that, sinking your back and make it sink clap, sinking your back and make it sink clap, sinking your back and make it sink clap, before the late old girl you want some of that, hands on your knees and bend it, fierce no hands on the ground. They don't need help, so no man can let it. I tell your hands on your knees, I'm bending. Fierce no hands that they grown, I'm bending. I'm going in every direction, you're sending. They don't need help, so no man can let it. Sweet girl, drop it, jiggle it, drop it, bring it up. Turn me on if you drill, let me dig it up. Drop it, jiggle it, drop it, bring it up. Fierce don't back it up, let it hit it up. Drop it, jiggle it, drop it, bring it up. Turn me on if you drill, let me dig it up. Drop it, jiggle it, drop it, bring it up. Fierce don't back it up, let it hit it up. Action time, action time. I want to say thanks to Pulsey Media Group for sponsoring this segment of the show. When being in the moment is priceless, Pulsey Media is your place to go. Get him a call, 754-999-6020. Visit him at pulseymg.com. Action time. Um, that's not the topic. Crazy. All right, so we'll 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 fix that. 
uh, I say welcome, 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 welcome to each and everyone locked in right now. Um, let me just go ahead and fix this real quick. Those of you just tuning in tonight, it's 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 real talk night, and um, on real talk tonight, we're looking at trust, intuition, and fear. Three things that um, have a way of influencing how we operate in our lives, right? And it's, 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 it's kind of funny because, well, trust, instinct, intuition, uh, are, they, are they really different? Um, we'll find out in a little bit. But I, I just need to change this title here because for some reason I changed it earlier and decided to do its own thing. So, you know, the gremlins, how they operate. But um, I shall not be moved. And we shall prevail. Right? <laughs> so, let's go ahead and fix that. And get our topic up. And out oh, there we go. Trust, intuition, and fear. See, multitasking. It's... Whew, Alzheimer's, here I come. <laughs> You know, it is said that uh, those who, who, who multitask a lot have a higher risk of getting Alzheimer's because they're firing all kind of signals in, in the brain. And the brain is a muscle. And you work your, work your muscles, you know, they, they either build up or they break down. And, well, as muscles operate, you have to break them down to build them up. But... Uh, somehow the brain operates a little bit differently so I'm on borrowed time multitasking and all so pray for me <laughs> alright uh, intuition fear trust often we're told to just go with your gut you know you trust your gut you know go with your gut instincts but Really and truly, how many of us have stopped to think about what that really means? You know, how many of us have, have, have taken the time out to say, oh, wait a minute. Is it this feeling or this feeling? First of all, what is intuition? Intuition is the ability to, ability to <laughs> understand something immediately. Without the need for conscious reasoning. That's intuition. What is instinct? Instinct is an innate, typically fixed pattern of behavior in animals in response to a certain stimuli. So, a certain thing happens, they react a certain way. Um, when it comes to... to, to time to reproduce birds build nests it's instinctual you know and and you typically we allow things like our our intuition to guide us you know we don't we don't really think about something you know we just feel a certain way and we go with it. So we, we, we let that guide us. Um, gut instinct or intuition is your immediate understanding of something. Now there's no need to think it over or get another opinion. You just know. Your intuition arises as a feeling within your body that only you experience and because the feeling is so personal no one else can weigh in to tell you if you're in touch with your gut instincts that is or not you alone have to make that decision and because of that trusting your intuition is the ultimate act of trusting yourself i'll say that again trusting your intuition is the ultimate act 
of trusting yourself. Listening to your intuition helps you avoid unhealthy relationships and situations. Throughout your life, many people will have ideas about what is best for you. And some will hold, will, will, some hold with good intentions. And some coming from a place of deceitful, harmful, selfish intent. And it's sometimes hard to see which is which. It's hard to tell which category someone falls into. But... If you put aside all of those external opinions and instead listen to the advice of your own intuition, it will guide you to what, you, what is truly best for you. Now, the process of trusting your gut is not as simple as the, the phrase implies, especially when certain habits and circumstances pull us strongly and often unconsciously in the opposite direction. Now, those are the things that make you go, hmm. Now, luckily, our intuition is so deeply instinctual that even if we've been out of touch with it for our entire lives, it's still there inside of us, waiting for us to summon its wisdom. So, how do you go about doing that? Well, there are some, some recommended ways to uh, carve a clearer path, so to speak, towards your own intuition and begin to draw it out regularly in your life. Your intuition is like your own personal North Star. But there are many obstructors that act as clouds dimming the light. And once you're aware of them, then you, you'll better catch yourself when you're headed in the wrong direction or for the wrong reasons. So you can take the, the, the appropriate steps to realign with your intuition. These are some of the more common culprits, the, the, the more the most likely to have you veering off course, so to speak. Overthinking. Now, since intuition is defined as the ability to understand something instinctively without the need for conscious reasoning, overthinking is one of the biggest interferers. Putting excessive thought into every decision and walking through countless scenarios and outcomes can lead you away from your gut instincts. And this happens especially when you're overthinking in order to rationalize or justify something. In these cases, your thought process is not flowing freely or organically but it's flowing uh it's, it's, it's following a very specific agenda to build a case for something you've already made up in your mind about in other cases the flood of possibilities and considerations that overthinking generates can overwhelm and confuse leaving you in a dizzying circle without clear direction now, this state is, re is, is referred to as analysis paralysis. You ever felt that way? You're para paralyzed by your thoughts. You're paralyzed by the decision-making process that you've, you've, you've become trapped in a cycle of. Yeah, that's what it is. No matter the exact process, overthinking leads you to the same place out of touch with your gut instinct that's the only place you're going to be so if your gut instinct is your north star overthinking sends you somewhere west southwest <laughs> um another thing is shoulds yeah you, you heard me right shoulds and these often enter the picture when you're overthinking and other times when you're outwardly focused 
for an example, if you wonder, will someone else <laughs> like me if I do this? In these instances, then, you're thinking about your behavior in a lens colored by the rules and preferences and expectations that someone else has set, rather than looking inwardly and allowing your own thoughts and needs to guide your behavior, which would lead you to ask a very different question. One like, how will I feel about myself? If I do this. Because shoulds actually shift the focus away from you. They distance you from your intuition. Now, the other thing is prejudices and unconscious bias. And even though prejudices and unconscious biases are in some ways the opposite of overthinking, they have similar effects on your intuition. As opposed to overthinking and overanalysis, prejudices and unconscious biases operate from a quick judgment. Uh, operate from quick judgments that the, the the brain automatically makes based on past experiences. Well, they also made it also makes the decision based on stereotypes and background instead of based on reasons of actual experience. And as a result, neither of these culprits allow space for you to tap into the experiential nature of intuition. Where you go with the experience of it all. You know, um, a loved one or authority figure's needs, wants, opinion or advice also affects or, or can steer you, of course. It, uh, it affects your gut intuition. And often the person who has the greatest power to eclipse or cloud your gut instinct is a loved one or authority figure whose love or approval you wish to win over. Someone like a parent, a significant other, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, these people can 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 really affect how your gut instincts work and you paying attention to it. Um, when you want something badly, that can also affect it. When you are really hungry for something, whether it be love, acceptance, children, social status, whatever it is, your strong desire to fill that gaping need can cause you to overlook or ignore any red flags along the way. Being laser focused on satisfying a need you deem worthy of almost any cost leaves little opportunity to acknowledge or follow your intuition, especially if that gut instinct is at odds with something or someone closely aligned with this need. Another thing is previous trauma whether it be abuse in childhood or something else, but previous trauma. Perhaps this is the, the most complex and powerful of all the culprits. You know, having experienced abuse or trauma as a child. Why? Because childhood, childhood abuse can leave a lasting impact on a person that remains even in adulthood. Growing up experiencing physical, emotional, psychological, or sexual abuse can cause children to distrust their experience and blame themselves. And since trusting your intuition is the same as trusting yourself, tapping into this gut instinct at this point can be quite a struggle. But going through situations like this as an adult can also affect where you are currently. So, looking at, 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 at how the, some of the influencers to take you away from following your gut instincts 
you know, it's not that you look at any one of them in a vacuum. It's that you look at all of them and you recognize that they exist. And you try to figure out if you are in a situation where you are dealing, you are, you are experiencing any of these detractors, any of these distractors, any of these uh, direction shifters. There are some steps that you can practice that will help to zero in your feelings of intuition in your body and bring it to the forefront to guide you through important situations. Things like slowing down and clearing your mind. When you're living in a cloudy haze and rushing here and there, whether physically or mentally, you miss information. Slowing down helps you better recognize and process the information you receive. Not only in your mind, but also in your body. Which, a lot of times, is just an extension of your mind. But I won't get too philosophical about it. Now, to do this, you need to mentally and physically clear away all the clutter. In real life, it might look like pushing back a deadline to remove urgency from a decision. It could also mean stepping away from a situation in order to gain further clarity. Um, like taking a vacation before making a career change. Or spending some time apart from a significant other to determine if you're actually right for each other. There's a reason why these things are suggested by elders. Because if you check it out, it's usually the elders, those who have gone through uh, a number of things, a number of experiences that would suggest something like that. Slowing down means purposefully making space for your intuition to occupy. The slower pace helps to shift your perspective and clear away the distraction so that you can see and feel what truly does matter. Explore meditation, yoga, mindful breathing exercises, and other practices that move your focus from darting thoughts into a deeper space of calm and centered focus that is within you. Notice sensations in your body. These things are important. Intuition is grounded within the sensations inside of the body. So learning to recognize what is going on within your body. That is the, 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 what you're feeling. This is key in developing your intuition. And while we might use the terms feelings and sensations interchangeably to describe intuition, please note the slight distinction. Specifically, we're more interested in understanding how your body feels in response to an emotion. Like anger feels tight, sore, hot, and tingly, rather than simply naming an emotion like sad, angry, or frustrated, and stopping right there. A great way to practice is, is to label the emotion in the moment when you experience it like anger and then feel what sensations arise in your body that are associated with that emotion whether it be that your your jaw gets tight and your shoulders gets raised and you're tense doing this helps you stay out of your head while you're while you risk being swept away by thoughts and in, in, in instead tune into your body where your intuition resides Begin practicing as a, as a, as a novice like, observer. You know, merely noticing with interest what is happening to your body in response to different stimuli and emotions. Guided body scan sensations are, are especially helpful in sharpening that particular skills, that skill set. So our exercises where you, you, you bring to mind a specific memory and then label 
and feel the emotion it elicits within your body. In all of these exercises, pay particular attention to your breathing, your muscles, your heart rate, and see how your body reacts and what that reaction tells you. The information it holds is, 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 is crucial to devising action that's meaningful and relevant to you. Then you want to focus on you. Ask yourself, what do I really need at this point? What is important for me? This is one of the times when it, it, it should be all about you, the individual. So give yourself full permission to make it just that. If you find your focus shifting to other people and their needs, then notice and purposefully return your attention to being curious about what you as the individual need and what you want. Because that is where you'll find your intuition. Concentrating on these needs helps to more easily pave the pathway. To clear the air around your intuition, it might be helpful to first go through the, the list of culprits that we talked about. Identify the external factors influencing you. Acknowledging them so that you can put them aside for the moment. We're not saying discard them, just rest them to the side. Your intuition is part of your highest, wisest self. So make sure the focus is squarely on you. Then take action. The feeling of intuition is like an ocean current navigating you toward a purposeful life. Once you discover it, you still need to jump in a boat and set sail in order to derive its full value. After you answer the question, what do I need right now? Do something to give yourself what you need. It might be the tiniest step, but size doesn't matter. Small steps can actually be beneficial at first to gradually build trust with your initiative, intuitive self with whom you may be meeting for the first time or be becoming reacquainted with after an unhealthy relationship separated you from your, your, your true intuitive self. What is important is that you're following your intuition, not someone else's. Remember, trusting your intuition is a journey which will lead you back through these particular steps Often as circumstances change and life continues to move forward, consider your intuition as a muscle to strengthen. With purposeful practice and frequent use, it will become more purposeful and better serve its purpose, guiding you home to you, to yourself, to your authentic self. And that is what we need to connect with. In order to be effective in, 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 in following our intuition, we need to be aware. We're going to take a quick little break. Take some time to grab some friends and bring them back to the, tune into the show. And if you want to share, please do. When I say share, I mean participate in the show actively. Jump into the stew pot where we keep things bubbling. All that's called a chat room on kevinstew.com with fancy. We call it the stew pot. So jump on in the water is always fine. You can call, you can text. 773-789-STEW is the number that gets you in touch. 773-789-7839. Call, text, let's chat. If you're overseas, Skype. Kevin.stew is a Skype name that gets you in touch. You see, there, there, there are all these avenues that are, that are available to you. Use them. Don't be shy. They're, they're there for you to use. 
So we're going to take a quick little break. We're going to be right back. Again, call a friend, tell a friend. The Night Shift is on. It's Marlon's favorite Night Shift show. Real Talk Wednesdays. And this is how we close out the Night Shift week. So, what better way than right here? We'll be right back. Pulse Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30-second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulse Immediately. Are you crazy about the music industry? You aspire to hit it big in music? Or maybe you've sweated out a soulful killer beat and are now stuck finding it's not as easy as it looked. Oh, but it can be easy for you with JTMC. We've been there, we know how it feels. So we solve challenges like production, promotion, marketing, branding and development, and more. With over 30 years of experience, JTMC is a one-stop shop for artists. We handle your graphic design, writing services, PR, as well as event planning, e-blasts, artist management, and bookings, so also your website and social media needs as well. We're experts in using creativity to persuade audiences on behalf of artists, drawing on our diverse experience to create projects that connect with audiences intellectually and emotionally. Artist success is everything to us, and our years of experience and commitment will be behind you for every one of your needs. If you've got music for the world to hear, whether you're a new or established artist, visit us at jtmcenterprise.com. When being in the moment is priceless, consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse the Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, in math, I learned that I'm ugly and I useless. And in gym, in biology, I learned that I'm pathetic that I'm and a joke. In history, I learned that I'm trapped. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one In biology, I learned that I'm fat and stupid. And in math, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today... The only thing I didn't learn today... The only thing I didn't learn... Is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. Uh, Coming up this Saturday, 
is the Jamaican Women of Florida presentation of cannabis. Let's talk about it. And uh, this is a conversation that is set to talk about um, cannabis. And those who tuned into Monday's show would have heard Hillary Crary talking about this program coming up, this event coming up this Saturday at the Broward County Library at uh, Pine Island and Broward, Pine Island and Broad Boulevard in Plantation, Florida. You don't want to miss this event. It's a free event. It's happening from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. There'll be vendors there, um, booths set up, and uh, a discussion that will be taking place. So you, you definitely don't want to miss out on this, right? Um, this happens on Saturday, once again. Go ahead and check out the Jamaican Women of Florida. Uh, look them up on social media. Um, you will find more information about this. Once again, you definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to miss out on it. All right? It's Christine representing for DJ Kevin. You see me, I say, I don't know the boss. You see me, I say, DJ Kevin's too. And the night shift radio show, yo, it at the thing, turn up the thing loud. Well, DJ Kevin's too at the heart of a champion. Never underestimate, just chose him. The silver line behind the dark clouds. DJ Kevin's too believing, and that's no doubt. Sell out the night shift radio show, Christine, just heart it up. Loud, kill the beast. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the show. For those of you just tuning in, welcome, glad you could join us. It's Real Talk Wednesday, aka Marlon's favorite night shift show. Tonight we're looking at trust, intuition, and fear. And how we operate within those parameters. definitely believe in you and me I want to say thanks to Althea for sponsoring this segment of the show yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Althea has those heavenly healing hands 
She's a massage therapist that travels to you. She brings her table, she has her oils. And she is licensed. Did I mention she's licensed? She operates within Broad County, North Miami Dade, and South Palm Beach counties. So if you're in that region, you're visiting that region, and you have friends in that region that you want to give to the massage, give her a call 954-655-9000. Or email her at theolator at att.net. Her rates are definitely reasonable, and I can tell you, those hands, ooh, Lord have mercy. Healing, heavenly. Anytime that woman lays hands on me, boy, it's a, it's, it's, it's an out of this world experience. Can I tell you? Ask anybody who has had that massage or a massage from her. So thank you, Althea, for sponsoring this segment. So we're, we're, for those of you just tuning in, I mentioned what we're talking about already. And um, we're just continuing along that line. Uh, you ever have that, 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 that feeling where you, you're facing a dilemma and you ask that question, you know, should I follow my head or follow my heart you know the butterflies in your stomach the clammy hands and typically it comes when you're facing a fork in the road you know how do you know if you're listening to your fears or your intuition oh that puts a twist to it right you're listening to your fears or your intuition after we were just talking about intuition just now you know when you're frozen with inaction how can you tell if you're a fallen victim to your fears of whatever it is? Or your intuition trying to scream at you, just stop. This isn't the right direction, the choice, the move for you. It, it's not for you, whatever it is. This is... It, it, it's, it's really important. Because... Too often, people find themselves stuck, incapable of action, because they're afraid of whether or not they will make the right decision. And to prevent that, we need to be able to break through the barriers that stand between ourselves and our dreams. We <laughs> need a way to know whether something is not working for us, because We've allowed fear to overcome us or because our gut is trying to tell us that something is not quite right. Fear dulls us. It keeps us static when we should be electric. Intuition is, is, is there to steer us clear of trouble and keep us on the right track. So you're not just getting where you need to be. What's holding you back? Is it your fears or is it your gut? We're going to look at some what are considered foolproof strategies to help gain clarity and do it fast. Firstly, is it fear or intuition that you hear? When you consider the dilemma, that thing that is bothering you, that fork in the road, whether it, 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 it could be a new job, a big move, a romantic relationship, a mental space. Uh, what, 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 what mental space is it that you actually end up in? Where is your mind at that point? Do you become overwhelmed with exciting and sometimes confused with scary um, visions of the future? Or do you feel heavy, like a weight has been placed around your shoulders and you, you, you can't even envision your life beyond this particular choice or this particular move? Now, if it is the latter of the two, then it's your intuition saying, yo, hey, hold up. 
and they're holding about it's it's putting up this big red flag with a big red sign in the other hand saying stop because you need to just take a breather but if regardless of the butterflies in your stomach the thought of this big change or choice expands you to and, 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 and sends your imagination running wild. That you would know is your hesitation. That right there is, is fear. Nothing more. And, you know, it's kind of funny because you would think that with all the butterflies and, 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 and everything else, that that would be your intuition. It's actually the reverse. So what is it that your body is saying? Our words can lie. Our body, not so much. So when you're not sure of whether or not your choices are being influenced by fear or by intuition, consider what your body has to say. Get in tuned. When discussing the person, decision, or choice that you're facing, um, perhaps you're doing it with a friend. What happens to your body language? Do you become lifeless and small, distracted with an unfocused gaze? And a hunched posture? Or do you open up and face and, 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 and your face becomes animated and your hands gesturing excitedly as you talk? And you may think that something scares you or that your mind is set on something, but your body may tell you an altogether different story. But you'll miss it if you don't pay attention. So you want to become more observant to what your body is telling you. Are you being held back by fear or intuition? And the answer can mean the difference between remaining stagnant or taking some action. If fear is a problem, then we, what we're talking about tonight could pretty much help you overcome it. You know what you need to do and where you need to be. You just need to step out of your own way. But if your intuition, your gut instinct, is telling you that you're on the wrong path, then it can be equally as powerful. It can give you the confidence that you need to walk away and the courage to pursue what is best for you. We are told all the time, think with your head. But never, never, never forget to listen to your heart. One of the other questions that you should ask is, are you living in the moment? And it can sometimes be hard to deal with certain decisions that we have to make. You may have to make an important decision about your career, as an example. You might, your, 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 your mind might start racing and you begin to panic about the future or something that happened in the past that has held you back. Ask yourself, are you living in the moment when you think about the decision? Your instinct will know what is right for you at that moment. And if you're too busy worrying about the future or the past, then that can actually cause you to make the wrong decisions. So try to live in the present moment and focus on the now so that you can listen to your gut and follow your intuition to make the decision that is right for you in the now. You know, we, we, we talk a lot about being present. That's what you need to do. Because more or less, being present is a gift. And that's pretty much why it's called the present. We're, we're gifted with this time. And 
way too often we look past the gift that we've been given. We look past this moment and we look at some other time. We look at the past with what happened and we take pieces of what happened and make them the, make that the focus. And then we, 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 we decide that we're going to apply it to our future. Somewhere that we haven't been Something, somewhere that we, 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 we don't know what is there waiting for us, but we apply it to a future that we don't know how it will be. And we forget about where we are. And because of that, we get caught up in our minds. And that takes over our body. And our body is talking to us. Our body is saying, hey, 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 listen, no, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what we want to do. That's not where we want to go. This is what we want to do. But we ignore it because we're not in touch. We're not in tune. And sometimes that, 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 that fear which takes us back and takes us forward is the thing that is so overwhelming that we get caught up in it. And we miss what our body is saying. And more and more our body or that, that voice within us gets weaker and weaker. So we depend more on the fear, the fear of the experience that we're having, the fear of uh, what might be versus what is. And that changes everything, doesn't it? When you stop and you think about it, it really does change everything. And when it comes to relationships, specifically, oh boy, that is something else. Because when you ask about intuition at that point, and you're looking at fear, now that fear becomes more of an insecurity. And the, questions, the question becomes slightly different. It becomes more along the line of, is it intuition or is it insecurity still along the lines of fear? And this now speaks to our relationship anxieties, which, you know, most of us experience at some point or another. <laughs> some of us could be experiencing it right now. And when, we talk, when, when, when I say relationship right now, before I get into it, I'm speaking generally. I'm talking about the relationship with, with, with that co-worker, with that neighbor, with that family member. And of course, with that partner. And there are things that affect that. But which of those things are the things that you're going to be more leaning towards? The in intuition or the insecurity both of them are within I guess that's why they start with in <laughs> because it's, it's within us and we as individuals as individuals have to make a decision on how to move forward yeah People are around us because we're, we're, we're social beings and we can't make all the mistakes ourselves. So we have to, or we should learn from someone else's mistakes from time to time. But their experience is not your experience. So where does our experience as individuals, where, where, where does that fall within the whole scheme of things? Do we just put that one side and go with what they say? Or do we take what they say and say, all right, this happened here. Cool. Not totally disregarding it, but that was their experience. It's like an allergy. Not everybody has the same allergy. Me, personally, I'm allergic to shellfish. I just happen to live in a house where I'm the only one allergic to shellfish. But guess what? I wasn't always allergic to shellfish. 
Did I just say selfish? I wasn't always allergic to shellfish. <laughs> um, I, I, I only became allergic to it in my preteen, early teen years. And I, I have been trying to, to get back to that time ever since because it was a great experience for me to, to, to be walking home from school with my friends and buying crab. Yes, buying crab. And we sit down and we, we would just devour the crab. The crab back, the crab legs, the crab claws. We just, it was a thing. It was a part of our, 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 our routine at that time when it became crab season. I can't do it now, <laughs> but I used to then. So do I take that and tell someone else, hey, listen, you know, you, you, you can't eat shellfish because this is what is going to happen to you. No, 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 that was my experience. Or that is my experience, it's not yours. So I can't tell you that. I just can't tell you what happened to me and how I deal with it and how I move forward with it. And that is how it, it, it should be with other things. We're going to take another little break. When we come back, we look at understanding relationship anxieties. Is it intuition or is it insecurities that, that is affecting us? What is it that we're dealing with? When we come back, we talk some more. Stick and stay. Call a friend. Tell a friend. Althea, thank you very much for sponsoring this segment of the show. Truly appreciate it. And once again, big ups to Melissa Jane for winning the competition to get the free massage. I'm going to start another one. I, I am going to start another competition and give someone else the opportunity to win a free massage number 48 it's gonna be you, you you're gonna need to do the same thing i'll tell you what it is in well at the end of the show i'll tell you all right so stick around don't go anywhere we have one more segment to go before we jump into our musical therapy it's a night shift with dj kevin stew real talk wednesday this is how we close out the night shift week we'll be right back Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind, and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, The Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. I'm in almost every school bus in class. They see me around the neighborhood and they tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America and I'm struggling with hunger. Please, Visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me. We are Feeding America, brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. JTMC Music presents the highly anticipated, much talked about, the Juggling Rhythm Volume 1. This classic rhythm takes on a new life with tracks from both established artists and introduces some incredible new voices. Get your dancing shoes ready with the Juggling Rhythm, featuring international reggae dancehall artist Missa Vegas, alongside Ian Sweetness, Ed Robinson, Jack Radix, Hezron, Dangling, Joanna Marie featuring Galaxy P, Denny Rance featuring Jawiz, Amber Leek, Christine Alicia, Yishka, also the new sensations on the rhythm, Zeal, Danger Lee, Marquis Skelenar, Zachary, available on all digital media outlets. The Juggling Rhythm. Get it, get it, get it. This is Gia Yi, and you're listening to The Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew. The 
just before GAE gets into No Emoji, I just want to mention that uh, the featured item, courtesy of Jillian J, this month is this beautiful three piece choker earring and bracelet set. It is a blue crystal and gold divider beads with blue and green peacock pendants on all three pieces. For those of you in, li- in radio land, in listening land, and not in viewing land, right here, like right here on kevinstew.com where you can just watch me live. Go to jillianj.com G-I-L-L-I-A-N dash J dot com You can, those of you who are watching right now and you're interested in this piece You can call up Jillian J at 954-281-2587 Or email jmarie at jillianj.com jmarie at g-i-l-l-i-a-n dash j dot com just tell Julian, hey, I heard about this piece on Kevin Stew's show. I want to know some more about it. Julian is also a personal stylist, so after you get uh, this set of jewelry or another set of jewelry, she can tell you how to wear it. A happy day could be a rainbow or a grin. Playing in the background, this is GAE. How I feel that day within. But when it comes to the track, it's called No Emoji. Thanks to JTMC for sponsoring this segment of the show. JTMC taking care of your tour management, your bookings, your promotions, your event management, your social media management, your entertainment. Just give them a call. 678-793-8800. 678-793-8800. Check them out at jtmcenterprise.com. When you call them, tell them you heard about them right here on the night of the DJ Kevin Stew, yeah? they'll definitely be willing to help you out all right so here we go again that situation where you're confused about whether you are hearing hidden wisdom from deep within yourself or it's just some insecurities that you hear babbling away how do you know whether you're making rational observations 
your gut or your higher self warning you that something is just not right or you're just being swept up by your own underlying anxieties. There have been people who have worked with therapists that have worked with clients on, on their personal and relationship struggles for decades and found many people are constantly confused about the difference between insecurity and intuition. So we're going to try to look at those two voices, so to speak, those two situations. Insecurity comes from the false beliefs that have been programmed into us, into our lower brain, the amygdala. And this happens as we're growing up. The amygdala is a small almond-shaped organ um, at the base of the brain that contains our fight, flight, or freeze system. It, this is instinctual. It's also where programmed false beliefs are stored. And it's these false beliefs that cause fear and insecurities. Insecurity comes from the conclusions we drew about ourselves, about others, God, and about what we think we can control. When you hear yourself say things to yourself, such as, I'm not good enough for my partner, so they're going to find someone better than me. Or, they're having an affair because I'm not good enough for them. This is coming from your programmed, ego-wounded self making things up. As if it knows the truth. But this aspect of us has no access to the truth. We access truth when we are operating from our higher brain, our prefrontal cortex, which is the calmer and more rational part. When operating from this brain region, we are open to learning with our higher mind. Our ego-programmed brain, on the other hand, thinks it knows everything already. And so it doesn't seek the truth. Often this truth, this, this, this leads us to responding based on internalized lies. And it is these lies that create insecurity. We know that a particular thought pattern or emotional experience is coming from a wounded ego by how we feel inside. Fear and insecurity within us is, is the way our inner self, our inner child, is letting us know that we are telling ourselves a lie. Intuition, that comes from a place of truth within. And it doesn't cause feelings of fear and self-loathing. Unlike insecurity, these thoughts come from a place of self-love. If you have an intuition that your partner is pulling away or is having an affair, this is important to pay attention to. Your intuition is letting you in on some, some info, important information about what might be going on with your partner and what might be going on between the two of you. Intuition allows you to operate from truth. So rather than attacking your partner from fear, you can approach your partner with an open heart and, desire, and a desire to learn, which is what creates a safe space for your partner to come clean. Now, that in and, in and of itself might sound like, wait, that's the kind of thing that you only find in the movies. That's not real. But really and truly, that is the reality of our relationships. Is that what happens in our relationships? No, not so much. We typically go from that point of fear. Many of us were taught as, as we were growing up not to trust our feelings. 
Listen to your head, not your heart. Remember that? It was much easier for parents, teachers, and religious leaders to control us if we trusted them instead of ourselves. My controlling mother, for example. The, the controlling mother, not mine, <laughs> but the controlling mother. Um, would say from a very young age not to trust what you know. If I told you, or if 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 she if that mother um, was told it was cold, it was not cold, then <laughs> you'd hear put a sweater on because it is. If me as a child, if I if I didn't like an uncle because his energy was icky and seductive and she would say something along the lines of, uh, you know, you don't know anything, go ahead and give your uncle a kiss, give your uncle a hug. That is something that would teach a child to distrust what they feel or what they experience. And even if behaving responsibly, they, that, that, that's the kind of mother that would yell out to stop being irresponsible. So for a, a child like that, it would take years of inner work to reconnect with self, to gain that, regain that inner trust. And... What happens is that it is no different from adults who have gone through repeated traumatic experiences. And it doesn't have to be the, 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 the physical beatdown abuse. It could, have been, it could be psychological abuse. And it wouldn't be very different. Because th this child with that mother wasn't physically being abused it were, they, were, they weren't physically being controlled they were emotionally and psychologically being controlled and when it came time for them to, to, to start listening to themselves they're, they ended up in a position of not trusting self the way you can discern the difference between intuition and insecurity is to trust your feelings if what you're feeling is some combination of fear and self-judgment, those feelings let you know that your wounded ego is making things up. Intuition, on the other hand, lends you to take important loving action on your behalf. Insecurity is rooted in your lack of worth, whereas intuition that is a vigilant defend defender of your actual worth. The more you listen to your inner voice of truth while not listening to the voice of lies, the more you know that you can trust your inner knowing. And that may be difficult <laughs> for a lot of us because that inner voice of truth is that still small voice that we often don't hear because we don't take the time out to sit with self and to connect with self and be still so that we can hear that voice. It's often the one that is, is, is rambunctious and, and active and all over the place because the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So that voice of insecurity, that, that screaming all over the place, <laughs> that is where the focus lies. And we end up missing out because of it. So be still. Chill. Wait a moment. Breathe. Connect. Because 
it's 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 when you do these things that now you can say okay all right um i have connected with me i can listen to me i trust me and with that you know we can move through and away from our insecurities and be confident and trust our instincts that is where we want to be that is where we need to be that is where we strive to be <sighs> sounds good doesn't it it feels good is there isn't that what you want isn't that what you want for the people that you you know and the people that you love the best way to encourage someone else to get there is for you to get there yourself and for them to see it if you're not there yet work on it and as you're working on it let some people know that you're working on it and some may actually be the ones that not very supportive of it you know they may tell you that you're tripping they may tell you that it's a joke that you don't really know what you're talking about don't worry about that focus on your north star go where it leads you pay attention to it recognize the things that are positive the things that speaks to intuition and not to fear that is what will guide you to achieving the best you for you to get to the best to get the best results out of what you consider life to be <laughs> This is Jack Radix. She left again. The track is called True to Myself. Too weak to fight. Wouldn't even try. But if the bell rings, I wonder what I'll do. I pick myself up off the floor. Kick myself. The door, but if the bell rings, I wonder what I'll do. Will I be true to myself and whisper in a Someone new Rid myself of this misty blue eye. But then the phone rings I wonder what I'll do I ask myself Hey, what's the use? Then I tell myself Some silly old excuse And then the bell rings Oh Lord, what do I do? Will I be true to myself and whisper in a Yes. Or will I lie to myself and leave us standing there? Yeah. Oh, this is my part right here. Shade. Lada, 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 what you think I do? Oh, what? 
words are true to myself, whispering in her ear. Yes. Our words are lying to myself when I left her standing, just standing off of me. Might lose some money. Might lose some friends. This is new music. Wow. From Paul Anthony. It's called Old Me. No matter what them trying to negative, yeah, old me. I'm taking back my life now. I'm in control of me. So you know what is happening right now, right? Listen to what mama told me. Now I miss the old me. Have you ever been blessed? But you're still stressed. Doing better, but you still can't invest. So you lose interest, then you're in dress. All the bad mind, negative mindset. No fret. I saw the thing set. The next days ahead are the best ones yet, girl. It. Nobody make you feel like less. Or a train trip or claim you are the greatest. I've been through so many tests. Now I walk with purpose in every step. No second guess. I'm the one who said I'm a real, them are the fakers. That's why me be caught my own chest. Now I miss the old me. No matter what them trying to negative, yeah, hold me. It's an extended musical therapy. Back my life now. The close out this week. And I should have listened to what mama told me. Now I miss the. Does it get any better than this? My dream big like a skyscraper. Them say have patience, but we are no hater. Are not doctor, more like an actor. Make moves, collect the paper. Brush the haters off me like this. Big up on the real friend who never would switch. Still jumping, it's like we just can't miss. Cause we are the champion and never should this. I know what you wish. Still we naga call it quits. Cause the music make people jump and twist. Them I try a thing, but I was born for this. When me tune drop your girl, I said that's my shit. To the Anthony, and let's face it, everybody won't like me. But when I touch the mic, I shine so brightly. I don't know anybody like me. I miss the old me. No matter what them trying to negative, yeah, old me. I'm taking back my life now, I'm in control of me. And I should have listened to what mama told me. Now I miss the old me. Yeah, I miss the old me. No matter what them trying to negative, yeah, hold me I'm taking back my life now, I'm in control of me And I should have listened to what mama told me As promised, uh, no, I didn't promise. I gave my word. This is Davil working out with Stone Boy. New music from him. It's called Rock Out. It's our extended musical therapy to close out this week's night shift week.
sitting while right there, baby girl, just put it on me. Take time with the wine, baby girl, just make me hard. The utter, utter, yeah. Them band track called The Way You Move. I like it. Because I'm true to my word. I told you last night I'd be playing a head run, right? Here you go. It's called jamming till the morning. Thanks to Jay, Mac Music Solution for sponsoring this segment of the show. G Mac Music Solution bringing your event to life. Sponsoring the musical therapy segment. She said, being so exhausted, baby So me move to the bar for some rum and red bull Cause tonight we're gonna see Who first cry out, pick 
the first family of reggae music Morgan Heritage from the new album Loyalty this track is The World Is Yours Over there, 
fighting, violence never ending, in that city you falling, it's time for us to shake up and wake up, take up our blessings like our name was Jacob, no more contemplating, just say this is my thing, your consciousness will be writing, so help your brother and your sister, all the children of the father, a finger pointing, and you they die. This is Third World. The world keeps turning. From the album, more work to do. Kelly B. Oh, that's the title of the track. Hard to make a living.
Shift week, the nice little bones. This is Frano, it's called the good old days. The, Im- the imagery in this song, boy. Let's see if you can visualize it. things when we used to play I know I do in a clean white sun in an autobe yeah 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 and I remember Sunday in a chicken rice and peas carrot jeans done square had a little milk and guinness yeah yeah I remember sitting in the trains eating star apple and chilling in the cool Jamaican press reflecting on my life You know, I have to take down the vibe at some point. My home is a great destination. I can't let y'all go to bed with this, such high energy. To take that vacation with someone like me. Yeah, but I have to put this one in there. You can be free, baby. Let's do it in Jamaica. Hey, the this is Coric. Happy people always smiling. You'll see. Let's do it in Jamaica. As we 
head into the strong end. If you can go to Jamaica, I encourage you to do so. Come Monday, we're going to have Jamaica's Council General uh, to Miami. Mr. R. Oliver Mayor. We'll find out why we should go to Jamaica, eh? Hey? What's happening in Jamaica? Why we should do it in Jamaica? The Jamaica's consulate represented right here on the night shift come Monday with Oliver Mayor. The Consul General. Let me make it real easy. You just need to get up, get up, and shake off your troubles and smile with me. Relax for a while with me. Enjoy the island breeze, baby. Let's do it in Jamaica, hey, where the summer sun is always shining. Happy people always smiling. You'll see. Let's do it in Jamaica. And my answer still not answer me The invite is open, your tickets on me hey, hey. So let me ask you what then, girl Would you agree to take that vacation With someone like me I know the perfect place you can be free, baby Come with me to Jamaica hey. Where the summer sun is always shining Happy people always smiling You'll see Let's do it in Jamaica Summer every day, trust me Let's do it in Jamaica hey, Where the summer sun is always shining Happy people always smiling You'll see Let's do it in Jamaica hey, Perfect place to get away And we have summer every day, trust me Let's do it in Jamaica As we get ready to do it in Jamaica, as we get ready to bounce on out of here, I want to say thank you for tuning in this week. I encourage you to join me next week, where we do it all over again from Monday, Community and Finance, where we'll be joined with Jamaica's Consul General to Miami, Mr. Oliver Mayer. Tuesday with Healthy Love and Wednesday we close out the week again with Real Talk. I just want to encourage you to look out for members of your community. And your community is not just the development that you live in, but it spreads far and wide. The people that uh, I'm talking about are the neighbors, your real neighbors, not just the people that live beside you. No, 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 no. The people that as you travel each day whether you walk right or drive take the bus the plane the boat or the train these people these people are your neighbors look out for one of them because you never know which one of them is going to look out for you my name is dj kevin studio so i like to do it to you for you and with you every monday tuesday and wednesday right here on the night shift from 10 to midnight on kevinstew.com and affiliate stations but come right here where you have the full experience you get to watch me you get to jump in the stew pot and interact with me directly it's how we roll it's how we live it's how we love right and i want to encourage you also to be good but if you can't be good be good at it cool cool This is on a rebel. It's got lots of love. And that's what we want to give all day, every day. Lots and lots of love.
Watch how she look at, watch how she act for the figure. What's a lot, 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 a just cool and all the vibe So don't fight it I want to make you feel alright Girl, let's take a day off Call into work sick Leaving you brand new music from Paul Anthony Tell the boss say you can Call day off And the body of the no one say you really just laid up here with me Go on and get this one here Day off, baby, so you can power the work to me Whatever you wanna go, we can ride With you by my side, all I need is a light Let's get a high, get a high Cruise the coast line, lose track Don't worry, they're off coming, right? It's hard to ignore, oh, you're so fine I know mine is Feel like the old times I'm yours if you wanna be mine Give me uh, Just follow now. your instincts you know, nothing stressful like routine work And you'll have a great day off my girl, then let's go Where are we headed? Well, I don't really know But let's get there fast on this your day off uh, Call in to work sick Come get this good love Tell the boss say you can't make it And nobody else the know Say you really just laid up here with me Let's take the day off baby So you can power the work to me Sexy girl, me want to see how you twerk it Drop it down low, make it turn, turn, turn me Cause you're the one that I want Your body is a blessing, what ya? Left the money, let's have a good time Nothing worth more than with peace of mind And you remind me of Britney Oh, you keep telling me if you hit that one more time <laughs> Just let the boss know you're not coming today Cause with you, the time seems to slip away When you're about to leave my bedroom, I say Let's take another day off Call in to work, sick Come get this good love Tell the boss, say hey, you can't make it Thank you once again to GMAP Music Solutions for sponsoring this segment of the show. Thank you for taking us through musical therapy. Give GMAP Musical Solutions a call if you want your event to come to life. 754-307-GMAC. That's 754-307-4622. They can provide you with stage and lighting equipment, audio equipment, engineers, DJs, MCs, you name it, singers. GMAP Music Solutions. Just tell them DJ Kevin Stew sent you. And this is how I get on out of here. Enjoy your strong end. Catch you Monday. Peace, love, prosperity. Good morning, good afternoon, good day to you wherever you are in the world. From here, good night. When being in the moment is priceless, consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse E-Media Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse E-Media Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse E-Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless.